So next I'll quickly invite Dr. Atul Ramkade sir. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Atul Ramkade sir uh, is from um, D.Y. Patel College, uh, Tatawade, Pune. And he is also a, a active member of our uh, Global Research Conference Forum. And he was also uh, a, a keynote speaker for various occasions. And today he is going to give an insight related to the uh, importance of uh, writing a paper. So it will be very useful to the uh, research scholars and students, those who are participating in this program. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nice. Uh, uh, so let me st start with today's uh, presentation, how to write, a, write and publish a quality research paper. Uh, uh, as everybody of you are aware that this has become a most important part of our, uh, should I say, in the academics, it's very, very important today. Uh, it has become so important, uh, publication work, that uh, the importance was not been given uh, much in the past. So now uh, there are a lot of talkings about uh, publishing research paper, people enrolling for PhD, uh, then scholars coming out uh, after passing out the PhD. PhD has become mandatory and for doing your PhD, uh, definitely you also require to publish the paper. So it is going to be a very important paper publishing will uh, basically uh, play a very important role in a scholar's uh, uh, academic journey throughout his uh, PhD work. So uh, just to give an introduction, uh, types of research uh, papers are uh, research reports are there then which is uh, done at undergraduate level and postgraduate levels. Then uh, dissertations are there which are required for students who are doing their postgraduate like MBA, MCM. Then uh, students who are studying Master of Philosophy, MPhil. Then the persons who are doing various research projects such as minor research projects or major research projects they also have to do or write articles or make dissertations then thesis of course uh, when any scholar is doing any phd work he or she has to present and uh, should i say uh, write a thesis and defend the thesis with the thesis also major research projects are there that, that also has to be uh, written depending upon the assignments then research articles and research papers is also very very important that is also uh, uh, become very important with this today's time so uh, today lot of uh, talking is happening on the level of UGC care. So what has happened is previously people were publishing the papers, but the quality was not up to the mark. The quality was up to not up to the mark. There was a lot of plagiarism. People used to uh, take a, take somebody's article and publish that in their own name. This kind of mis, uh, mal practices was going on to curb it and at the same time to bring the quality of the quality into the field of research a major step has been taken by the UGC whereby they have identified certain research journals which are authenticated by the team of UGC and only these journals are authorized, such as a lot of journals are authorized by UGC, Web of Science, Scoopers. So your articles should be published in this journals only. So UGC care list is there. <coughs> the list has been published on the website of UGC. If anybody has any uh, queries, they can visit the UGC site and see which papers are authorized paper means which are in the UGC list which can uh, where they can publish their paper which will be authorized then second point in this slide is publish or perish means if you are if anybody is planning and thinking to 
बी कम इन एकेडमिक्स और बी इन एकेडमिक्स और ग्रो इन एकेडमिक्स ही शी हैव टू पब्लिश अदरवाइज पेरिश मीन्स देर वोट बी एनी ग्रोथ ग्रेटर विजिबिलिटी ऑफ रिसर्च फाइंडिंग्स इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट योर फाइंडिंग्स विल प्ले अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इंक्रीज चांसेस ऑफ साइटेशन मीन्स you get recognition worldwide because the people the more the people cite your article your name is highlighted you get greater recognition amongst the peers because of your quality research work and the next uh, benefit associated associated with it is promotion allowances and other other things if you publish a paper in good ugc care journal uh these are certain journals how you decide journals like gcr uh, with, which has impact factor then scopus then uh, there are certain scopus rankings which are given by sgr that is the authorized body okay so the website is also given if anybody has any uh, should i say doubt or question or any um Uh, not clarification is available so they can visit this site to get the authentication of the and the uh, should i say weight of the journals uh there is a big question people ask whether all the journals uh, charge publication fees so it is no the reputed journals they don't uh, charge you like elsewhere spindle algorithm etc okay so basically they don't charge to you so try to go for the papers which are basically which don't charge you so they are only uh, what we call interested in your authentic work they are not bothered about money so types of research papers basically research paper could be an argumentative research paper where there could be certain arguments on certain issues then then could be a research paper based on analytical research paper which analyzes certain things it could be analysis of certain issues certain facts certain uh, problems which needs to be identified studied and uh, the results has to be derived then research paper can be on conceptual background certain concepts are there okay the concepts which have been published uh, either earlier or the concepts which are available through literature or uh, new concepts which are coming so basically a uh, paper can be based on conceptual backgrounds as well then fourth one is research paper based on various models uh, as uh, we all have seen certain models are there which has been derived by the scientists psychologists sociologists or management experts so they have made certain models so research paper can be based on certain models also uh, to to go into the depth of the models what are the outcomes of the models why these models were made how it is helpful for the society how it is contributing in the field of research academics etc uh these are certain uh, journals uh, of ugc like uh, on various uh, should i say um, topics such as natural sciences are there social science is there arts and humanities are there and there are certain things which are multidisciplinary means two disciplines uh, has been taken into accounts and then uh, basically based on those uh, facts the journals are articles are published in those journals initial stage very important for the pe- person who is going to make the research is uh, selection of subjects area field selection of organization selection of geographical area selection of study period and finalization of the title of the research this is very very important structure of uh, ideal research paper could be title one first is very important it could be 8 to 15 words then an abstract should be there between 200 to 250 words keywords should be there 6 to 8 introduction should be there around 500 to 1000 words objective should be there hypothesis should be there uh, 2 or 3 then uh, literature review should be there which could be 1000 to 2000 words 
then uh, research methodology could be find it to 1000 words sampling uh, is very important who is your target sample with very important respondents is very important 